In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save multiple slot files. As you can see here, we have three different files. Um, in each one, I've simply saved a player class. So in this one, you can see I have uh, Mage, Warrior, and Ranger. So let me just close all those. And in our um, script, I'm going to be showing you guys what I did. So this is very similar to my previous save um save file uh, access. Uh, if you guys want to watch that video, um, this is Godot 4. So this is how you now do this in Godot 4. If you are doing this in Godot 3, the logic is the same. Let me explain it. So essentially what we're going to do, if you have a password, the password can be the same. It doesn't really matter, but the path is what we're going to be changing. So here we have different paths or different files essentially. So this is going to be a string where we save the file. Now keep in mind when we save at res that's going to save in our actual folder. If you want this to work in other when you export this into Windows or even Android I'm pretty sure it has to be users. Uh, you might have to check that though. So this will only work for this tutorial but for the sake of this tutorial it won't matter so we're going to be saving these as different files and as different names you can rename it to slot zero one two whatever but that's basically what we're going to do and now when we save instead of passing through nothing we're going to pass through a slot number this is going to be an integer and now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially match that slot there's better ways to do this but this is how i'm going to do it so we're going to match that slot with zero one two so you want to make sure that you don't pass through an invalid number that isn't zero one two you can even check if it's not valid or not but i'm not going to do that because i'm lazy and you guys can do that on your own you guys are smart enough i got you you got it you got this um and here we're saving the uh, data as a dictionary and stringifying it and then storing it into the file so here is the important part this is the file right so the file, depending on the slot number, is going to save into a certain file. Here we, we're just having we're having to uh, predetermine the file because if I don't, uh, it'll err here. Yeah, it'll err here because um, if I do it here, it, it just won't work. And same thing in the load. We're going to pass through the slot and then we're going to load it here. So as you can see in the uh, game, we have player class. That's all that matters. And in our main, all I'm going to do is save and load. So those are the two things we can do. So let's try saving and loading uh, the slot zero. So when I save and load, this is going to save our class ranger as in our file so right now so let's go to save game we have warrior so let's close this and see what happens when i play so when i play it'll now print ranger and let's double check this so let's go into our save bin it'll now print Ooh, that's not right save game game ranger wait where am i yeah no sorry i'm just dyslexic i guess yeah, so now it's Ranger instead of Warrior, right? So that's how we save and load different slot files. And now you can save a bunch of different information into that one slot file. And you can load that one slot file doing whatever. So let's try loading it and see what happens. So this save will do essentially nothing. It'll save, but we're going to load a different file. So let's see what happens when I load that different file. Let's see. What do we have in number two? Do we have Ranger? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's try loading number one and see what we get. Just to test one last time. I'm going to save and load. And we got mage because here you can see we saved into a different file, but we loaded the second slot, the slot number one, technically, right, which is mage. So that is how you guys do that. If you guys would like to uh, see more on this, definitely check out my channel. I have a bunch of other content um, explaining good old simplic, simplistic things, I guess. Uh, and that's it. If you guys like this um, video, definitely check out my Discord. Uh, I have a Discord down below. You guys should definitely join. I have a Twitch. You should definitely follow and subscribe to my channel down below. It'll definitely help and comment down below, uh, literally anything. It'll help the algorithm and it'll help me a lot. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.